Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bienvenidos. We begin with a humble park gem as we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. The National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture details the richness of that island. Well, this month they made headlines when Broadway star Lynn Manuel Miranda made a special visit. Anabel Laval has more on what he learned during his tour of that museum. It's good news all around at the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture in Humble Park. The renovation of the 19th century building, which used to be the Humble Park stables and receptory, is finally completed, and the walls are filled with works of art. The tendency has really grown. I think we're getting so much attention at this point. And we've had people come here from Canada. We've had people come here from out of the country. People from various states come here. As of 2014, this is the only self-standing museum in the country exclusively dedicated to Puerto Rican arts and culture a fact that Ocasio considers a huge responsibility. We thought that we needed to not only deliver our arts and culture to our people here in Chicago, but that we needed to preserve what's going on for all Puerto Rican artists in the Puerto Rican culture and tradition. The National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture will always have exhibitions from Puerto Rican artists in Chicago, but it's the partnership with the Museum of Contemporary Art in Puerto Rico that makes Ocasio most proud. When we opened up in 2014 as the National Museum, we signed an agreement with the Museum of Contemporary Art of Puerto Rico. Two years later, we had the first exhibit from that partnership, and it's an exhibit called Poetic Science. They took eight artists, eight scientists, they sent them to Puerto Rico's Yunque Rainforest and said, come up with an exhibit that deals with art, that deals with nature, that deals with science, and is very educational. I saw that Puerto Rican flag over Division Street, and I said, I'm home. The bright future of the museum was celebrated during the third annual Raices Gala, its most important fundraising event of the year. The publicity that we're getting off of it, the people who are starting to find out about us, it, we can't pay for that. During the event, two outstanding Puerto Rican artists were recognized for their contributions with the Ceiba Award. The Ceiba is the tree that has deep roots. And so we award this to two people every year who have shown that they have deep roots in their community and in their culture. Tonight's honorees couldn't be more impressive. Antonio Martorell, one of the island's most important contemporary artists, who was honored to receive this recognition. All means a lot because I think Chicago is one of the best Puerto Rican towns ever. First time I'm thinking past tomorrow. And Lin-Manuel Miranda, creator of the huge Broadway success, Hamilton. I'm so thrilled. Um, you know, just this, this whole part of Chicago feels so special to me um, that we have Nuestra Esquinita uh, of the neighborhood um, and, and to be honored, um, you know, uh, alongside Antonio, who's a legend, um, is, it's really an honor. Ana Belaval, WGN News.